Three hours ago, no. I'm fine. I'm good, thank you. It's fractured. Nothing, like, nothing I can do, nothing I can talk about. It's, yeah, I'm good. Um, trained the whole week, which was, she gave me, that's all I needed to, because the doctor said it's all about what, how much pain you can take and um, it can get worse, but it, it's going to get fixed anyway. So um, I'm, it's, it's good. It's as best as it can be. Is there any protection? No. <laughs> no. They already know what's wrong, so there's no point of protecting it. Yeah. I said you might look up, uh, end up looking like Koha. No comment. Going back to two years ago, after the last week, the president ahead of the Ellis Park test, you had spoken about how you guys would not get carried away of what had happened. Um, is that the feeling at the moment? Um, you're more worried of the old days now, second time around. Yeah, for sure. But uh, we spoke about that uh, that experience, you know. And uh, you can never be too comfortable when you play against the All Blacks, you know. And uh, we know they're going to be a desperate team. Uh, you've seen after they've lost against us at uh, Bombella Stadium, they've managed to bounce back. That's the quality of a New Zealand team, you know. If you're not at your best on the day, they will put you away. And also a, a lesson that we can also learn from Argentina earlier in the championship. Argentina won the first game and then the second game it was 40 points. So once again, they've got world-class players and they're well, well uh, coached side, you know. So on a, on a day, if you're not at your best, they will punish you. And also, more especially if you look at the changes they've got now in their team, you know, and you look at that back three, you don't, you don't really want to give those guys some space and enough time to make decisions, you know, because they will punish you, they're world-class players. So, yes, we did learn from the past. And uh, once again, you can never underestimate the, uh, an, uh, an All Blacks team. So, but once again, we've done everything in our part to make sure we're well prepared also for the game. See, I think you verbalize how much this means to you. Because obviously, as the doctor said, it's about how much pain you can take. Pain barrier is there. So obviously, this is huge for you. Um, can it's you yeah. it? No, it's huge for the team. It's not huge for me just alone. It's huge for the whole team. We, we are in a place that we've never been before. As this group in the rugby championship, we've never been in this position before where we, we've always gone to Australia or won here against Argentina and then go to Australia lose their loser against Argentina and maybe get a win in New Zealand. So and like the Freedom Cup is something that we don't we, we only see it in pictures or when we walk past it. You know, we've never been able to touch it and it's big. Um and, and also coming back to Cape Town as well, playing here after so many years, you know, and there, there's so much to play for. We can put ourselves in a very good position for the rugby championship. We can win the 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 Freedom Cup, you know. Again, all the other stuff is yeah, and and it's not about I me. Mean, if I wasn't okay, I wouldn't have played. Wouldn't have changed anything for the group. I just really want to 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 play the game. I wanted the opportunity, and the dog gave me the opportunity. But the whole look has been about the team. How much? Yeah, it's, it's what we've done to get here. And as coach said last week. You know, it's not being wary of the All Blacks. It's us also putting the our, our front foot forward because we didn't last week. We had to fight back to win the game. We can't we can't do that this weekend. We have to make sure that we start the way the game. They play the players that they've picked for for this weekend. They clearly showing what they want to do. They want to run the ball. And what are we going to do? And that's what we're trying to focus on. What are we going to do as a team to make sure that we start far better than it was last week? And then we see uh, how it looks after 60 minutes. Lisa? Okay. See, um, how reassuring is it to be you had the, the youngsters, um, Apelele and Sasha, running running the pack the show um, last week, but now you can fall back on guys like Billy and, and Andre. Just how reassuring is that to the, to the team going into this crunch match? I think it's it it's exactly. I think you all remember. Coach Rassi was quite open when he first started with the first meeting we had. He said he wanted to win transformation and squad depth, and he said he can only all do all the other two. You have to win first, and that's where we've been pushing this year. And he's open and honest with the team, and he speaks and he wants to give players um, opportunities to play, but. It's the best way to do it now while you're winning. And the way that you can see Sasha and Farsi in them, they probably have like four or five games, but three of those games, one a game against the All Black, one game against Australia, 
And that's where you test it the most, and that's what we're trying to do. And it's so awesome that Sasha has been able to do that and run the team and control, and he's been the general. Fassi, he was in the group, he went away, and the coach was honest with him. He did everything that the coach asked him to do in the club level. Then he came here, got his opportunity, and he saw what he did last week. And he, everybody knows Fassi is not dropped, but team, the coach is trying to make sure that everybody gets a, a fair opportunity. But we as a group are so proud. Guys that have been here for long and guys that are coming in to see that whoever is put in, that that's what you want as a group. If somebody falls, falls, that nobody panics, that it doesn't matter who's coming in. And that's a, that's why I always say our biggest competition, our biggest pressure is within amongst each other, not the opposition. Because I know if I don't pitch up for one second, Marco van Staden will take his opportunity. But you won't see that when you see me and Marco. We, we are amazing people because we're good friends, because we know the team is the most important. But when I get my chance, I must take it with both. And when he gets his chance and he's playing, then I become Adi Savia against him every single training because I want him to be special. So that's what we're trying to, uh, to, to build as a group. And we, we are fortunate that the players that have been selected, we just respond the way that we do because we know we, me and what I want is not more important. The group is because what I want, when, I, when I'm finished, I'll be gone. But at least I know I've given my best, and the next guy that's coming in is always going to be good and take it to the next level. Rob? See, um, last time you guys played here in Cape Town, you know, it was Ian's 100th uh, against Wales. It was an incredible atmosphere. Um, tomorrow, I'm sure there are going to be a, a lot more All Black supporters than there were Welsh at that time. But uh, <laughs> are you expecting a very similar type of crowd, you know, amazing atmosphere and just a great occasion? Yes, I am. I am expecting a great occasion, and and we we you know we want obviously as many South African supporters as we, but we respect everybody that's coming to watch. We've seen people that flew in from New Zealand, and I think Coach Rusty explained it in one interview. We have to respect everybody. You know, there's reasons behind everything, and it's nice that those stuff is explained to us. You know, why it is like that, and we respect that, and and we just want to go there. And, and play as best as we can for everybody because people pay to come and see us and we're not only play and we want to people you know hopefully one or two people can turn after the game and 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 support us again but we have like no bad feelings especially after things have been explained by people who lived during the you know the the time and things were so we do understand that and there's no hard feelings as long as when we play someone else, they support us. <laughs> and Coach Steve, speaks about um, the team not being um, in, this, in this position before. Um, you know, how important do you think it is to, to not get too carried away and, you know, to keep a cool, calm head and get the job done? Yeah. I think it's very important. And since the previous weeks, you, you hear when we talk about we want to develop our game, we want to get better in how we do things. Remember, We've got a new personnel in our coaching staff, you know, so there are certain things that as a team we always want to build in our game. And, uh, and it's, it's clear and open that you can see even on attack how we're operating under Tony Brown. You know, it's something <coughs> that is totally different to what we normally used to in the past. And it's actually a nice challenge. And I know one thing for sure, coaching staff and the players, we're so excited with what the other coaches are bringing on the table in our system. So you can never relax, not, not, not when you play against the All Blacks. You know, and uh, I think the key thing from my side, like, see, I touch on it. Uh, we've never been in a position like this in the past, you know, where you've got a chance. You know how difficult it is to win the, that Freedom Cup away from the All Blacks, you know, in the, because remember, you, you need to win two games to get it away from them, do you understand? So, yes, we've been doing well against them, you know, winning one game and then they win the one game and then they return that, uh, that Freedom Cup. It's very special uh, trophy, you know, and... Uh, if you look at where we are as a country, for example, 30 years of democracy, I think that trophy speaks volumes into what we stand for as a Springbok team currently. So, yes, we spoke about it. And uh, just once again, I know we haven't played a lot of games against the Old Blacks here in Cape Town. Uh, the last one was in 2017. And now if you look at a team and what we stand for, I think it, the timing of bringing the game back into Cape Town, you know, like I said, once again, we respect people's opinion. But I know I've got friends that I grew up with you know, that also used to tell me more about the All Blacks. But I know one of the, some of them now, they're in our corner, do you understand? So uh, that's the best we can do. You know, we are given an opportunity to make a difference between the four lines. 
as coaches and players, and that's exactly what we're trying to do. It's going to be a great vibe. It's going to be a great occasion. Once again, I think, Ross, you touched on the last game we played here against Wales. That was one of the special crowd uh, vibe, you know, in Cape Town. So I know one thing for sure. We're playing at home. I know our people will be behind us. And uh, we'll do everything in our powers to make sure that we at least give them a taste of that Freedom Cup. Uh, see, uh, you'll uh, quite a change to be back row. Ethan Blackout is injured and Wallace Satiti comes in. What do you know about Wallace and what do you expect from him this weekend? Yeah, um, you know, he plays for the Chiefs, right? And yeah, obviously, Black Hera is, um, is proper, he's good. Like, I, it reminds me of Peter Steph, like, uh, he's everywhere in the field, he works really hard. I think uh, with Satiti, I think it's also I mean, a very young guy and he's going to get his opportunity. <coughs> he's going to throw himself in battle, he's going to attack. Um, but to have a guy like Sam Ken and Adi Savi, I mean, who else would you, uh, who else would you want to be playing, you know, your... Your 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 cap with, and I think they they will be in his ear the whole week, um, encouraging him. So I have no doubt that, you know, we we're gonna have a challenge in our hands, especially in the breakdown. Um, it's gonna be uh, it's, it's it's it was a, a challenge last week, but I think this week um, will be even more. Rob, have you asked him? Yeah, just to see ya. Um, from the outside looking in. It looks like something special is brewing with this group of Springboks. And, um, you know, you've almost been likened to that All Blacks team that dominated for over a decade, where they're winning games that they're not supposed to be winning. Um, will this game tomorrow um, be a stepping stone towards that promised land? Well, we, I, I don't know um, what... Like we, I don't know, for us it's been the same. We've been trying to reach the same things, but this is this is different for us. It's a challenge that we have for ourselves. And we spoke about before doing back-to-back um, big games. We couldn't do it again against Ireland. Now it's another opportunity, but obviously now there's so much on the line for both teams, and we really want to win the Freedom Cup. And, and there's so many things, the first team to win in four, all that matters, we just need to win. Nothing else matters. We're not thinking that's why. We just want to win the Freedom Cup. Um, so, yeah, just yesterday you were spotted, you went to Coach was spotted yesterday on the spring of women's side. Um, I know you, you and my team and Lewis were sort of together. Can you just tell us what you guys were doing exactly in the roles? <laughs> I know there's a spring of double either, obviously. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. just touch on that, please, as well. No, we just um, we went to go watch the ladies train. And we, um, I went early. I was in the meeting with them, had a chat with them because they they support us a lot. Um, they support us all the time, you know. And a lot of them, we grew up in the same areas. One of them played in my club with me, and I know, I know what it's like. Um, well, I don't know what it's like for them, but I've also struggled a little bit, and I know how the women's game is obviously developing. But it needs a little, it needs a little bit more of us as men to be there supporting, talking about it, so that they can get <coughs> to the level that we are in. But obviously, rugby is a tough sport to start playing. It needs a lot. You need a little bit of money. You need a little bit of boots, and we're playing in thorny fields and all that kind of stuff. You need grass where soccer you can just play in the street, you know. So when then we watch them train, and then me, I really love the way Nadine plays, and I have so much respect for her. And I don't think she's seen, there's a lot, obviously, but I don't think that she's, she's praising her because I saw what she did in the sevens. I was small, I mean, we swapped jerseys yesterday. A jersey is so small. I was told her, <laughs> I told her, he looks like a sample size. She says that I must give it to my, to, 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 to my daughter or my son. So we just want, we, we really wish we can do more uh, with them because they're getting better and better each time. And to think of where, where they started, and that's what I was telling them. You know, the other teams might be way more developed than you, but you're not playing for yourselves anymore. They might not reach, like as we say, the, we say, say the promised land for them, but the next generation of women might reap the rewards of what they're doing. So they're already doing well, qualified for the Olympics, you know, and, and now they're going to be playing in the W15, which I, I, I'm hopefully going to bring my whole family to go watch them. I think, yeah, it is important that we celebrate them a bit more and then we talk about them about a bit more so their game can also grow. Justin? See, so sorry, just on that note, surely having them play on Saturday as a curtain raiser, 
ahead of the box at the edge of stadium, yeah. he's a step in the right move. 100%. Uh, because yeah. you now have a sold out stadium. Well, that's debatable, but <laughs> <laughs> um, a capacity big stadium that will have people there hopefully early enough at Office One to watch them. So the fact that we can have them play on the same day with you guys surely must be a step in the right. No, 100%. We, we're so excited to hear that and to hear how happy they were about it. And it's important. And I'm really, I know people love rugby. And I know people in South Africa will take any reason to pry Erie. And that's an opportunity for everybody to go and watch. Late. And just go see and get to know them. Because I know the, the, the South African competition is growing, is growing. And, and I think, yeah, I would really encourage people to go <coughs> watch them. Because at the end of the day, when they go play in the World Cup in the, women, in, in the W15, they're representing all of us just like we are doing. And they need the same kind of backing. And um, I, I encourage people to to go and, and, and watch them. And I'm sure it, it'll be it'll be a good game against the Barbarians. Um, Coach, um, you were on a front row seat, you know, going back to that 2017 game. Remember there was an extraordinary passage at the end of the first half, like, you know, 10 minutes end to end. And then also, you know, just that one moment that you guys had where there was a little bit of ill-discipline, I mm. think, and they, charge or something and then it was 25 24 you know so like how important would discipline be and then also boldness in a way yeah i don't really have a lot of good memories about that game because of i wasn't involved in 2017 and it probably I've watched that game with the double Branavin and Cox. <laughs> couple of them no, 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 no. I wasn't. I was. I was only involved in 2016. Then 2017, no, I, I went to the juniors. But uh, yeah, like I said again, once if you if you're playing against the All Blacks, you know, more especially the past couple of games we play against them. Until I think any team could have still win the games even at the last second. Last week, one step wrong against them, they would have probably put us away and score a winning try at the end because it was very close. And then all the games that we've been playing against them, I think a game that we've probably had clear dominance against them, uh, it was the one at uh, Twickenham. That was the game that we probably pulled away from them. But most of the games against them, it goes always goes to the last sec to, uh, uh, seconds of the game. And I, I know one thing for sure, with the team they've selected, chances that this goal might also go down there, <laughs> uh, which is exactly what people deserve, you know. And uh, it's going to be probably a packed, and I know the vibe in Cape Town people. That's one thing I enjoy about Cape Town crowd is that you can see people are here to have fun. You know, even if sometimes the games are tense, but people will keep on cheering at us. And that's something that picked us up also as a, as a, as a team, you know. So, uh, yeah, memories on 2017? I don't remember much. <laughs> Sorry, good. No problem. Yeah. I see also on that score, um, a Bok win uh, on Saturday would give you six wins out of the last eight. Some people may say that's a bit of a stranglehold as a player, maybe as a squad member. Does it feel that way? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, we, yeah, we, we don't look or talk too much about this. Just want the Freedom Cup. That's all. That's all that we're thinking about. I'll, I'll think about what you said another time now. I'll answer it next time. But, but we don't. We haven't really. Oh, honestly, we haven't. That's why I can't answer. We haven't spoken about it or thought about it. Our eyes on just this weekend. Then you can ask me all the questions. Adnan and then Katu, and then Isikosa Lars. Still, Coach Stick. Lars is probably the week about your work that you do for the off the ball stuff in the guys. Um, on the field as well as the uh, high ball and so on. Um, if you look at the all back back three and uh, yeah, how do you see that battle going tomorrow? Do you want water? Do you want water? <laughs> oh. <laughs> like this whole week. Oh, okay. Yeah, Adnan, you know, like I said, again, uh, I think it's clear how they're going to approach the game, you know, if you, if you look at who they've selected, you know. And if you look at the Lustria also, you're looking at the ball players, guys that are short and quick and moving around the park. That will probably, they'll try to keep the ball in play. And with their back three, uh, for example, if you look at a guy like Clark last week, he was probably one of the best players when it comes to finishing and probably hurts a couple of our guys the way he runs, you know. Uh, but for them to make those big calls where they bring back a guy like Siburis and Talia at wing, you know, after performance like that from the other guys that played last week. Then 
it shows exactly the mindset they're looking for. I've heard them, they're talking about covering our kicking uh, uh, kicking game, you know, and those guys, I know civil risk for sure. We've coached against them many times. I've been through his profiles, you know. When it comes to speed, you know, and turning and covering all the kicks behind their backs is one of the best, you know, and once again, probably they will be desperate to get five points. And we know one thing for sure, that's why they've selected those players, because they've tried and keep the ball in place. So, yeah, it's going to be a tough one. It's going to be a tough one. But once again, I think these are the moments we live for, you know. And uh, once again, to stand in a chance to win that uh, Freedom Cup, I think that is something that we've been talking about, you know. Uh, so we'll do everything in our powers, and hopefully we can also contain those guys at the end of the you mentioned a uh, question about how you know, Cape Town's a favourite to play, and you know, some of the things they're proud. But Sia, just yesterday, Rossi said Urin was playing at Newlands and he got chirped about his Kaita playing at uh, Newlands. So, just in terms of a Cape Town crowd and a Cape Town vibe, what are some of your, I guess, favourite and most unique things about playing in Cape Town? It's too much. <laughs> <laughs> it's too much uh, to say. I played there for 11 years. This is where I started my professional rugby career. and. Everything I know I've learned here, obviously, and uh, professional world. And some of my good friends I've made here, my family, I'm you know, all started here. It's 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 really a special place. You can't um like if you're a rugby player, wherever you go, people are just excited to see you and they're excited to help. Like the other day I went to um I think woke up and I was offered some mousses, everything. It, it it's that kind of community where if you go to a mall, or I was said the other day, I don't know who I was talking to. If you are, if you are out when you're not supposed to be out, people will ask you, "What do you need?" You know, <laughs> and and I like that, you know. And people don't hold back. It's because people care, you know. People care, and they pitch up. I remember people will fill up where you can't um, at Newlands, where you can't sit down, where the standing tickets packed, you know. And that's how much they love rugby here, yeah? and they also don't hold back. If you got like what they said to Rossi, I remember they telling uh, <laughs> behind the bench the guys that sit there with the <laughs> Thomas Moss, um, telling Scarra what's wrong with his body. Oh, <laughs> 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 let him tell you what they said, you know. And they chirp us, eh? They tell us if we lose, how I can't say uh, the words K A K A we are. As a beef don't say. And then, <laughs> but they show up every weekend. And you know when we're doing well, we are the be the best. They send in the next two years. Yeah, they say what they say. <laughs> so it's really, really, really special. It's a different um, culture, it's a different atmosphere, and and I, I I really loved every single moment. And I wouldn't change the way my rugby, you know, grew up here. It's really special. And 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 I know the people of Cape Town uh, know that. And um, I think Saturday is not gonna be. Any, any different, and I think if they could be closer to the field, they would definitely would have loved us. So they they let us know how they feel about how we're playing at the time. So yeah, I'm looking forward to it either way. <laughs>